All right, so if you're looking to move to Washington, there's a lot of options for you to consider. Whether you're looking to move to a high-rise condo in the city or a nice home with some acreage just outside of the city, Washington State has it all. But it all depends what you're looking for and what your lifestyle currently looks like. Well, let me help you narrow down your search with some of the best neighborhoods for you to consider in the state of Washington if you're considering making a move here. But before we do that, my name is Lucas Pinto. I'm the founder here of the LPG Real Estate Group with Compass. I'm a local realtor in Seattle and my team sells a little over $120 million of real estate every single year. What does that mean? We suck at a lot of things, but we're pretty damn good at selling real estate. So if you have any real estate related questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We get messages, we get emails, we get text messages all the time. Anything that is real estate related, We'd love to chat with you. I'd love to further assist. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so everyone moves to Washington State for different reasons. And it might be your job is relocating you here. It might be that you're sick of California and you're ready to come up to Washington State because we're a superior state. Sorry, California people. Or it could be the vibe that you're looking for. Maybe you're very outdoorsy and you want to spend more time outdoors. Regardless of why you're moving here, today we're going to be breaking this video down into four categories. Rural neighborhoods, suburbs, urban, and most affordable areas. So let's start with section one, rural neighborhoods. So if you like to be outside of the city, if you want more land, more acreage, if you don't want your neighbor right next to you, you might wanna consider Arlington, which is a very cute town, guaranteed to be near water or have a water view, affordable pricing, best for remote, remote workers or individuals who work in Everett, now Arlington is pretty far north. You're you're probably about you know an hour drive to to Seattle downtown proper. You're about a 30 minute drive to Everett, so it's 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 up there. However, you do get a lot more bang for your buck. It is a lot quieter, and you get more land. You might also want to consider Snohomish. Um, Snohomish is becoming a lot. Over the last few years, it's grown into more of an updated neighborhood, close to many outdoor activities, uh, wooded area, flat plots available, uh, and Snohomish is becoming more of a, a thriving city in the last 10 years I've been here. Um, now, Snoqualmie and North Bend. Uh, Snoqualmie and North Bend has seen a ton of growth as well. Snoqualmie has the Snoqualmie Casino, which is pretty exciting. Um, and out of those three areas, you know, Snow, Snoqualmie and North Bend, you're probably about a 40-minute uh, drive from downtown Seattle. Uh, you're, you're taking I-90 to Snoqualmie and North Bend, and I-90 tends to be, for the most part, uh, a pretty traffic-free highway, for the most part. Uh, Snoqualmie and North Bend is, is a, a, a very historic town, well-preserved, near the mountains you're close to skiing snowboarding great family neighborhood um, and i i lived about 15 to 20 minutes away from uh snoqualmie in the past um, and i would recommend it it's a good feel kind of feels like you're up in the mountains a lot of families great area so those are three neighborhoods if you want to consider being a little more rural and outside of the city now if you want to be more in the suburbs you want to consider Edmonds, shoreline roosevelt great school districts about 20 minute commute from seattle without traffic however you are going to get some older homes in these neighborhoods you also want to consider linwood uh, now really quick Edmonds, shoreline roosevelt these are all about 20 25 minutes uh, north of downtown Seattle. Same with Linwood. Linwood is about a good 25 minutes north of Seattle. A lot of families, usually fam families with kids. Homes there, probably average, your average home, you're probably looking at, you know, starting in the mid 600s uh, for, for just about all those areas, Edmonds, Shoreline, Roosevelt, and Linwood. Uh, you also want to consider Woodenville and Kirkland. Now, when we talk Woodenville and Kirkland, you're talking, you know, the higher end suburbs. Woodenville is wine country. Kirkland is, you know, you have Kirkland Waterfront. You have uh, Lake Washington School Districts, which are some of the best 
if not the best school district in Washington State. Uh, so those two are your higher end suburban neighborhoods. Um, now your average home to live in, in Woodenville in Kirkland, you're probably looking at starting, you know, entry level home at around 900,000 to a million. So prices are a bit higher. You also want to consider if you want to be closer to the city, uh, Madison Park, less shy, higher price point, closer to downtown. Um, now, you know, unique homes across the board and some modern development, but you're really, you, you're really dealing with a large spectrum here. Some home in the early 1900s, some new developments, but you are a lot closer to the city. Now, last but not least, don't forget about West Seattle. West Seattle is the perfect little tucked away neighborhood that's about 20 minutes away from downtown Seattle. Um, and it, West Seattle just has a fantastic little neighborhood feel. You have Aokai Beach, which is awesome during summertime if you like being close to the water. And that gives you an idea of some good suburbs. Now, if you want a more urban location, probably number one urban city is Bellevue. Bellevue has seen the most growth in the last 10 years. It's the east side of Seattle. It's the hub of the east side of Seattle. Great shopping upscale dining, uh, really more expensive single family homes. I mean, you're looking at entry level single family home at probably 1.4, 1.5 million, but well worth it because you have fantastic school districts, you have a ton of tech jobs, and you have a city that's really, really thriving. It's clean, it's perfect, it's gorgeous. Bellevue has it all, and in my personal opinion, it's a better version than Seattle. It doesn't have the Seattle feel, it's a different vibe, but Bellevue is amazing. Um, also, for urban neighborhoods, you might want to consider South Lake Union. South Lake Union is a huge tech hub. It's where most of the young techies live in Seattle. It's very walkable. Um, Google's there, Amazon's there, a uh, ton of high rises, ton of condo options, ton of, of, of trendy bars, and it's kind of you know, if you're if you're young and you want to be in the city and you're a young professional, South Lake Union is the neighborhood for you. You also want to consider Magnolia, which is about a 15, 10 to 15 uh, minute commute from the city. Nice parks, higher price point, opportunity for water views. And last but not least, University Place, which is all the way down south. It's close to Tacoma. You're about an hour away from Seattle. But University Place is, it's a different county. You're in Pierce County, but it's a safe, family-friendly neighborhood. We just sold a house there last month. Uh, you have some good breweries popping up. You have some great restaurants popping up. It is a safe neighborhood. In your entry-level single-family home in University Place, you're probably looking at mid-500s today for a single-family home. Now, Let's talk about the most affordable areas. Let's say you wanna be really cost effective. Where should you consider? Number one, Everett. Everett is in the north end of Seattle. You're probably looking at about a 35 to 40 minute commute from Everett to Seattle proper. It's the largest city on the north end of Seattle. A lot of craftsmen homes, refurbished city. Uh, however, you do have to be aware of crime and homelessness. Uh, which is an issue in Everett, and it has been an issue in Everett. However, you're dealing with much more affordable home prices, and you're still fairly accessible to a big city like Seattle. Your entry-level home in Everett, you're probably looking at somewhere in the mid-400s for a single-family home. Now, for a second affordable option is Tequila. Tequila is about 15 to 20 minutes south of Seattle, downtown Seattle, close proximity to shopping, dining. It's an easy commute. It's an easy commute to the airport. If you know if you fly out a lot, you might want to consider Tequila. And there's also pretty affordable single family homes in Tequila. You're probably looking at getting into a single family home there for, you know, I would say low five hundred thousands. And it has been improving in the last several years. Tequila has come a long way in the last 11 years since I've moved to the city. Thank you so much for watching the video. And again, feel free to give us a shout if you have any questions regarding real estate. We're here to help. And before we let you go, YouTube really likes 
if you like the video. So if I provided any sort of value, it will take you two seconds to smash the like button. Please do so. And until next time, peace.